Hi folks, and this is a ancient map made by Moroccan geographer Mohamed El Idrissi, who incorporated the knowledge of Africa, the Indian Ocean and the Far East, gathered by Arab mer merchants and explorers. and with information inherited from classical geographers to create the most accurate map of the world at all times at the time sorry so it was drawn up in the year 1154 and I have downloaded this map so of quite interesting that this map looks very very different to the world we live in today uh, one of the first things that struck me about it was um, how Britain has Doggerland all around it so we know that Doggerland is real because they've been dredging up all kinds of artifacts from the bottom of the ocean so whoever made this map had been around when Doggerland was current which was pretty amazing so this is an accurate map of Britain when it had what they call Doggerland. Alrighty then. And just to show that I'm not making up stories, this is a modern day map depicting Doggerland. And there is a little bit of a. Uh, at the end of the last ice age, Britain formed the northwestern corner of an icy continent. Warning climate exposed a vast warming climate exposed a vast continental shelf for humans to habit to inhabit. Further warming and rising seas gradually flooded low lying lands. Some eight thousand years ago a catastrophic release of water from a North American glacial lake and a tsunami from a submarine landslide off Norway Inund inundated whatever remained of Doggerland. So they say that this land disappeared 8,200 years ago. And that map we're looking at depicts this land as currently there so that means that that lake that map made by Mohammed is depicting the world more than 8,000 years ago it has to be true eh? it has to be and here we see those rivers that show on Mohammed's map coming down here like this quite amazing eh and in here is a river which has now become the English Channel. Sorry for all the banning. Alright, so I'm going to put this on. And the sea levels were obviously at this time very, very low. And generally speaking, look at the size of Sicily and Italy there is a lot more of it so although this map was made in 1154 it doesn't mean that the information on it comes from 1154 this map could have been compiled from many many ancient maps so we have no real 
firm date. But let's presume that this map originally must have been drawn when the polar ice caps were extremely laden with snow and ice and the sea levels were much much lower and the other thing is that it shows a very populated world so these green little things here are rivers And these ones here appear to be mountains with colour schemes for high and low. And I'm not sure what this is, but it looks very systematic. And I would think that that might be forts guarding the coastline or towns but they look very very evenly spaced around here around the Straits of Phosphorus is that what they call it Ports are even more intense, as if there was a need to protect this land from that one. And the Black Sea, now at the centre of a huge conflict, looks much, much slower, lower. And in here appears to be swamps. Those are quite large. There appears to be rivers running around North Africa. You have the Nile. I don't know what this river is, I don't think that's gone. And I don't think these rivers are here anymore either. So it would appear that North Africa was quite a fertile place when this map was originally drawn. And The Mediterranean has a lot more islands than it has now. So obviously, since whenever this map was made, sea levels have risen considerably. And obviously the cause of it was not burning fossil fuels unless these people were lighting a lot of fires perhaps alright so that's the start of this journey of studying ancient maps but this is definitely an accurate depiction of Britain, complete with Dogaland or Dogaland, and the English Channel does not exist, and Britain has joined the island, and this must be the River Thames, and I'm not sure what that river will be, the Mersey, 
quite interesting and that just turned up on Facebook so this will be one of the oldest maps that I have seen and my guess is that it's dating back at least 10,000 years where some of this information is coming from. Either that or back in 1100 the sea levels were this low but um, I don't think that was the case. This map has been compiled from very ancient sources so well done Mohammed and this map was made when the Muslim Empire was spreading across North Africa so obviously they would have had intimate knowledge of all these coasts yeah. all through here it's part of the Mohammedan Empire and into Spain as well right up to the Pyrenees so it must be accurate. 